Hello, Linux fans, and welcome to the new Linux Quest office setup, where we are set up for a new distro. Thought I would just kind of do a quick walk around. There's my uh, my son and I. Uh, for those of you who don't know it, I'm a big Batman fan, so this was uh, Halloween a few years back, and we are set up. For the fresh install of Arch Merge Beta. Hello, Linux fans. Rob here, and welcome to Linux Quest. Well, it seems like just yesterday that Arch Labs released R2D2. And now, for the past couple of days, I've been running the beta 5.5 of Arch Merge. What is Arch Merge? Well, if you uh, take a look at what's going on over here within the Arch Merge page, it's a combination of XFCE4 added to OpenBox and i3. But in kind of exploring where Arch Merge is as an operating system and distro within the large pool of distributions we have to choose from in the Linux world, I'd say it's a combination of fun and learning experience as well. Now, don't get me wrong, um, you know, the fun part here is something that may be fun for me and many of you watching but not fun for others. I call uh, the fun part of this all of the options you have at your disposal to really configure and change the desktop in general and how you use and set up for the, uh, the UI of the desktop. To me that's fun. Now for some of you it may be that you want to load into this and start running and using your apps and you don't care about wallpapers and customization and things like that. That's fine. It'll work just as well for you as it will for the person who wants to really configure things. The other thing I want to talk about here is that this is an extremely fast system. At cold boot I came in right at 552 megabytes of RAM usage which I think is very respectful. Um, respectable, not respectful. Uh, maybe it's respectful as well. But let's go over here to System and HTOP. Now I've got screen recording running and I've got a browser open, so I'm you know, over a gig. Uh, actually, let's jump over to Home here. Uh, I like the countdown here. You're six days, seven hours, 51 minutes, and 13 seconds. Uh, also, there's a video here I'd recommend you watch where Eric kind of goes through and talks about some of the features and things coming with Arch Merge. So we'll go ahead and close that out. Uh, but yeah, cold boot uh, came in under 600 megabytes of RAM usage, very respectable. Um, overall, the feel here of the past couple days using this, fast, stable for a beta. I've been, have no problems, very pleased with it. Um, now, I've got this window maximized here, and that's for a reason, but by default, you'll see it roughly like this. Uh, I want to go over a couple of things, too, that kind of surprised me. One is some of the options available I didn't expect to see. So, for example, under Internet, you've got three main browsers set up, Chromium, Firefox, and Vivaldi. Those were already in place. And then under Multimedia, I was thrilled to see VLC Media Player as well as Simple Screen Recorder in place. Made my job easier for recording this video, for example. And also, it was good to see the pulse audio equalizer and volume controls all in place. For getting the mics all set up and everything made it very easy. Now, also in graphics, uh, quite a lot here in place. Uh, you've got GIMP, Inkscape, uh, No Max, I'm not familiar with that, it's an image viewer. Uh, Peak to record short animated GIFs or GIFs. Uh, Ristretto Image Viewer, which is very nice, and Shotwell. So quite a bit in place there, and that's why I say if you just wanted to jump in and start working, you could. You've got Office uh, in place here with LibreOffice, so that you know there's no reason you couldn't just bam install it. Oh, by the way, let me talk about the installer too. It was a very fast install, very straightforward with zero problems, very easy to understand uh, installer. So you know, so far it's hitting all the check marks. Uh, let's go under settings and this is an area where for me again the fun comes in because you've got all these options everything from appearance to you know various desktop settings uh, but it gets deeper than that you can get into the open box key bindings the open box menu editor uh, open box configuration manager and admittedly this is an area where I haven't spent a lot of time um, you know learning what does what dock options margins uh, things like that. So a lot here to explore and experiment with. Sometimes that experimentation doesn't work out the way you intended, but that's part of the learning process as well. Um, 
So let's right click. You do have an active desktop and let's go down here to desktop settings. So you've got a few uh, wallpaper options here. Some of these we saw within R2D2. So I'm going to go in and just choose this one. We'll close that out. I'm going to do a little theming here uh, while we're at it. And we'll go into settings and appearance. And this is where things kind of get a little fun in that you're going to have a lot of different uh, styles to choose from. Lots of arc here. So let's go to arc crimson dark. Um, and then we'll go to the icons. And this is another area where lots of options. Let's expand this. And if we go back up to the top here, uh, you'll notice a lot of the more popular or standard icon sets. But then you get into things like Mocha, uh, the Numix, Papyrus, uh, high quality. But then we see Sardi. Now Sardi is an area that uh, Eric Dubois has maintained the Sardi icon set for some time now. He puts in a lot of time and effort to make sure that this icon set is consistent throughout the UI. And that's one of the things that I really appreciate about the Sardi icon set. Let, let's go to something with a little more color here. Let's see. Uh, let's go Love Red. All right, so that adds a lot more color uh, to the desktop. So that's just one example of some of the fun you can have here. But again, long list of high quality icon sets already set up for you. So we'll close that out. I don't want to jump back over here to settings and let's talk more to about other areas that you can customize. So the open box menu editor, for example. And again, this is an area where for me, I haven't spent enough time to jump in and show you things. This is an area probably that I need to focus on and hone my skills on and share videos with you on it. So, uh, but this is all set up and in place here. One other thing is if you're into conky widgets, you'll notice I have nothing running on the desktop now. That's another area where Eric has spent um, a lot of time and a lot of work to help us, the community, to all here. Uh, let me see. There it is. Oh, Compton's already in place too. And I can think of a few people that, that, uh, that will be happy to see that already in place. Uh, Conky's in. So this is pretty cool. And this is, again, the fun aspect of this OS. So what you're going to see is a good long list of lots of different widgets and things like that uh, that you can activate. So a lot of this work has been done for you. And, uh, you know, you get the fun of just kind of going through and seeing what it is and, and uh, seeing what it does. So let's go here to uh, AP Weather Red and we'll click OK. And we should see, yep, there we go. Um, so now we've got this widget in place with the time and the date and the system info, uh, shortcut keys. I mean, it's really done nice. So um, that, you know, for some of you may be a reason just to try this distro, to try this OS when it releases again in about six days, uh, because I myself have spent time with Conky, and it can be time consuming just to get these various widgets and things set up, and it adds something to your desktop environment that's not only, you know, good looking, but also uh, supplies information, you know, what's going on with your system or shortcut keys and lots of other things there. So anyway, moving on. Overall, I just think that this is going to be another really good release from Arch Labs and, and Eric and, and the team working on this and really look forward to the final release. So just kind of wanted to share this glimpse. There's lots of other videos out there too. I know TJ Wolf has been testing um, Arch Labs or Arch Merge, excuse me. He's been testing that for a while and I'm sure there's several others out there uh, testing Arch Merge right now. And some of the feedback I've seen has been very good and very positive. So uh, just wanted to share this. Look forward to it. Eric and team, thanks for all your hard work. And that's it for now, and we will check you later.